this is the beginning of my glow up week. And by glow up, it's going to be internal stuff and external stuff. On my list for internal stuff, I really want to start eating better. And just for some background, the past few months have been very, very, very hectic. I'm finally back into a season where I can take a look at my routine, refine things, do a little bit better, focus on my health, and it's not just go, 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 and like trying to survive and figure shit out. So I'm really excited about that. And I've just kind of been, I don't wanna say letting myself go, cause that's definitely not what's been going on. Like. I've still been exercising, I've still been doing whatever, but I'm just more settled in now and can like start doing the extra things to take care of myself. So like I said, it's going to be internal and external. As far as internal things, really focusing on diet, cleaning that up, focusing on working out. And by internal, I mean like my habits, like want to make sure my habits are um, in a good place because that obviously does lead to external benefits but it's a really big thing for me just to get my routine because that kind of seeps into everything that I do, whether it's work or personal or whatever. I am usually a very disciplined person, but whenever I am just like all over the place, it's hard for me to be like that. So I wanna get back on track. And then from a more beauty and like external perspective, I have a lot of things I need to do. I need to do my hair, these roots. Let's just take a moment to say. I don't understand because I did my, like I dyed my hair dark for the first time like four weeks ago. Like I did it on October 1st and it is November 2nd. So I don't really understand. So I need to take care of that. And then I am gonna laminate my eyebrows. Um, I've done it once before and I just wasn't that happy with the kit I got, I think. So I ordered a new kit because it, it literally lasted for like one second. So I ordered a new kit because like my eyebrow hairs are very, very thick and dense and like they don't want to, it doesn't matter what type of gel I use. I use legit hair gel and like hair pomade, it's, they still fall down. So I'm going to laminate my eyebrows and see how I like it. I'm going to tip my eyelashes just because, especially living in Florida now, I've just noticed my mascara smudging a whole lot more, I guess just because it's more humid. I, I don't know, but I basically want to be able to go more mascara free, but I am... I wouldn't say I'm insecure about them, but my eyelashes are not very dark. I don't know. I feel like they're a lot longer than they look because they're like lighter at the tips, which like everyone's are, but I feel like especially mine. So I'll do like a little before and after and be able to see that. I guess that's it. I'll probably do like some skincare stuff here and there. Oh, and the other big thing as far as internal is my supplements. So I've been like taking a look, I'm a really big like supplement girl. So I'm taking a look at everything and going to be incorporating maybe a couple of new things into my supplement game. Oh, and I forgot to mention this. So my goals for like my fitness and nutrition are to, and I'm gonna like start small and like compo compound on these things. Um, but my goals for nutrition is to incorporate vegetables or fruit in every single meal because that's a really bad habit that I get into, especially like all the um, driving and stuff that we've been doing, like the road trips, like I've been eating fast food, like it just needs to, need to cut it. So fruit and vegetable at every meal and then like drinking more water, that's just like always a thing in the back of my head. And then as far as workouts, I am trying to do four workouts a week. So if I can do those things for this week, then I'll feel accomplished. I am back at Soho Cycling.
I wanted to show you um, some new supplements that I just got. So basically a couple new things that I'm using for digestive support. My stomach always hurts, you know, those type of, those type of girls. I'm one of them bitches. So I already take um, a probiotic every morning. Um, and then what do I take? Let me just go through these. So I take B12 every morning. That has nothing to do with digestion. That is for energy because I don't eat a lot of red meat. So that is kind of helping, I don't know. Um, but every morning I take a fiber supplement because if you're not getting enough fiber from the foods that you're eating, it's just easy to supplement. Um, and then this is for my skin, so don't worry about that. Um, these are two, no, that's my probiotic. <laughs> um, this is a new, excuse the thing, I got it wet. This is a new supplement that I've been taking. So basically I take that in the morning, which is my, or all this. So I take this stuff in the morning and then I take this as well as this cinnamon with my dinner. Um, and so these are the two new things that I've been taking. The reason why I looked into cinnamon as an extra supplement to start taking is because it honestly just has a ton of different benefits. The thing that attracted to me attracted me to it the most is that it um, has anti-inflammatory um, benefits which are really important to me right now and then it also helps to balance um, the blood sugar which is really good and it's just going to support your metabolism and everything in the same vein ginger also has just a ton of different benefits and i love ginger so i figured why not get more of it um, but it specifically helps once again with inflammation um, and it also helps with weight loss so there are all these studies that basically correlate ginger intake with weight loss so as part of my health kick i am trying to get back on these homemade tortilla chips that i made all throughout COVID and I was obsessed with them, but basically you just take like actual tortillas and then I already sprayed this side of them, but I use this, I got this from Aldi, but it's avocado cooking spray. I'm preheating my oven to 425. Um, but yeah, spray this half and then now I'm gonna flip them all over real quick. All right, so now I'm just gonna spray this side and I try to do it as light as possible <laughs> to try to use the least amount of oil as possible. I have another tray over here too. And then I put salt, of course. I'm using kosher salt because I like the big pieces of salt on the chips. And then I do cumin and chili powder. I'm not gonna use a ton of the chili powder for this because it's hot and I don't have regular, but yeah, you'll see. And then actually I'm also going to add some smoked paprika just to like give it some red color. <laughs> and my oven is preheated, so I'm just gonna pop these in. I'm gonna do them next to each other so that they just cook at the same rate. Um, I'm gonna set the timer for like eight minutes. Okay, so this is right at eight minutes, which they look pretty good i'm honestly just gonna turn the oven off and leave them in there for a second with it off and they look pretty good so i'm just gonna combine them and then like toss them around a little bit to like the loose seasoning can kind of like get on the rest of them but the bottoms are like a touch 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 burnt but you know don't worry about that but these are these taste so much better than regular like tostitos like promise I and mean, you can like season them however you like and they're bomb and way less calories than bags, tortilla chips. And then we're having leftover Mexican vegetable soup for dinner. I just pulled this out of the freezer last night. Um, it's still like thawing out a little bit, but once that's ready, we'll eat. I'm just having two eggs with spinach and a little bit of red pepper flakes and everything with a bagel on top. 
uh, three pieces of turkey bacon, which I burnt a little bit because I wanted it crispy, but it's fine. Um, and then, sorry, the dishwasher is going, but I have my coffee that I've been sipping on already. And then I'm also going to try to drink this green juice that I got from Trader Joe's because I'm trying to like really work on getting my greens in because I don't know, my skin has just been, I haven't been breaking out, but my skin isn't good. And I feel like it's because I haven't been drinking enough water and I haven't really been getting greens in. So I'm gonna try to do this. So this is the like, not the yummy green juice. This is like the lower calorie one. It's got, oh, here we go. It's got cucumber, celery, grapefruit, lettuce, chard, lemon, kale, spinach, parsley, and mint. It's pretty disgusting. I've had it before. I'll be really honest. Let me take a sip. Okay, it's not as bad as I remember it, but it's not good. Okay, so I actually just finished my um, planner for the day. And I wanted to show you because I used to do this very differently. Not very differently, but I used to do it a little bit differently and have like a whole lot more stuff in here. But since then, I've kind of simplified. Um, so I wanted to walk through it real quick. Um, so obviously put the day at the top. And then I have been writing out my breakfast, lunch, and dinner so that I have a plan. So that way that I don't just like grab some random stuff that's probably going to be not the healthiest um, and then I write out what my workout is what book I'm reading and then what podcast I'm going to listen to um, so that's everything there and then I always look at my pattern in the pattern app the pattern app is basically like astrology but it goes so much deeper and I swear like do not download this app if you're not ready to get serious because it is really really intense and it's always right like literally i said that this morning about how i want to you know change my habits my habits have been really bad and literally look at what it said it said well first of all this is also accurate like address disagreements with maturity jared and i have been fighting about the stupidest shit and i have been being so childish about it and so that was like a wake-up call it's like wow um and then the mindset shift thing so it said to break out of emotionally embedded unhealthy habits and create new habits that was like the gist of it and i was like oh my god yes so i like to write that out every day just to like kind of like get it on paper and get it so i um acknowledge it because it's always so accurate so that's that and then I wrap up my calendar. My calendar is pretty light for today. So I just have a one-to-one -one at work today. It's at 1.30, I wrote a seven, so just don't worry. Um, and then I actually, since I wrote this down, the girl tried to reschedule. So I was supposed to go get drinks with this girl at Fly Bar tonight, but she um, asked to reschedule so that I can take off. And then I, one of the main new things I'm doing is I split up my personal to-do list from my work to-do list. And this has been a really big, thing for me this seems like so simple and little but I used to be so 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 consumed with work that that's the only thing I would consider a to-do like if I had to go like the, I had to go drop off um our garage opener I had to mail it and that's just like a simple thing and it's a personal thing I would never include that on a to-do list because I'm like that's not important because that's not work right so this is a really big thing for me is splitting these things up um so i have my personal to-do list and then my work to-do list um and then if there's like a bigger task that needs to be broken up into little parts i just kind of like write it like an outline um some people do them like separate lists like they do like quick little things versus projects versus this i just like to do it this way basically the if it's one line it's a quick little thing if i have to like break it down then it's a bigger thing so yeah and then i Put this up at the top just to remind myself make sure i get a fruit or veggie at every meal and to drink water i've been doing pretty good so far um, my breakfast had spinach in it even though that's not written down here i'm gonna have a salad for lunch here in a little bit and then for dinner i'm planning on making shrimp fried rice which i'm really excited for it's one of my favorite meals Oh, 
Corrido con tu regla, no te busco ni por ley Ahora saco disparar, nunca me encontrará En la rica un perejito y a tirarlo para atrás Ahora estás en corazón frío como el Himalaya Cato de estos bobos a mí no me dan la talla No fuimos pa' la rica, estamos pa' darle batalla Que se me lo cumplido esta noche pa' darle falla Todos mis diamantes, hasta mami con el Gucci Baby, siempre me dudaste It's super early Actually, I should probably, I'm in my nightgown, um, but it should be fine. Um, but it's very early, but I wanted to go ahead and do my eyebrow lamination because the kit came in yesterday and I can't get my eyebrows wet for like 24 hours after I do this. So I wanna just go ahead and get it done. Um, so that way I don't have to worry about um, wearing makeup and stuff. Cause I don't think I can technically wear makeup. So I just opened the kit and everything looks pretty standard. Um, so yeah, seems pretty simple. I'm going to go through the instructions real quick and just make sure everything is the same as the last version that I bought and go from there. result which i think is a lot better than what i was working with before and i trimmed them up a tiny bit just so that they were like more even but i didn't want to make them super short but yeah let me know what you think hi so i wanted to pop in real quick because i'm editing a little bit already and i have so so much footage of me doing all the actual like beauty hacks and like do-it-yourself beauty items that i want to make a completely separate video where i go in depth into all these things for this video i'm just going to kind of like speed through most of the stuff but i'm going to have that more in-depth video where i cover the lamination the hair dye and the lash tinting kind of in depth so that way you can actually see like what the steps are and see if you actually want to do it so i'll link that video um if it's out at the same time thank you Real quick, I wanted to show you because I just put in an Ulta order for um, store pickup that I'm gonna go grab today. But I ordered just two things that are pretty simple, but I feel like they're so like a part of my glow up routine. So there's the um, discoloration correcting serum that I really have been wanting to get, especially for this like little spot that I have on my nose. Um, and I know it's just sun damage, but I need to get on top of it. So I'm gonna get this. And then I'm also going to get the I'm also repurchasing the Ordinary Multi-Peptide Lash and Brow Serum. I already had this and I lost it. I don't know what happened. I guess I was traveling and all of a sudden it wasn't in my bag anymore. I have no idea where it is. So I'm gonna get this and try this again, especially since I am going to be tinting my eyelashes. So they're gonna be like kind of damaged. I wanna get this to kind of give them some nourishment. Okay, here is the Multi-Peptide lash and brow serum good molecules discoloration correcting serum i'm having a little repeat meal for lunch today um so it's the mexican chicken vegetable soup and then homemade tortilla chips which i of course burnt a little bit again but whatever so today's workout is kind of exciting i found a pilates class and usually i wouldn't be excited about pilates because it always leaves my body just like a mess um, and so sore for literally a full week afterwards. But I found a Pilates place that does like basics classes and I'm like, exactly what I need. Like I hate when basically you go to a class for the first time and you're like trying to learn, but like they don't do anything to like break it down. Like they just act like you're supposed to know, like especially like yoga is the worst for that. Um, like I really wanna find like more like beginner level yoga classes too. Not because I can't do the things, but because I need to learn the terminology and everything. So I'm really excited for this because I really do like Pilates and I really think that I could get like some good results from it. But I just always feel like I'm a step behind in every class that I take because I don't know 
I just don't know what I'm doing, you know? So I'm excited about this. The place is called Body Rock and it's actually in Sparkman Wharf. Um, so hopefully they validate parking, but we'll see. So I looked on the class pass. So I looked on the class pass profile and they validate parking in the channel side parking garage. That okay, I see a girl right now that looks like she's probably going to class. Okay. So they only validate parking in the channel side parking garage. That's where I am, and it is like an endless loop right now of Oh wait, are these spots? Okay, I'm just gonna have to fucking park somewhere, yeah. Are these spots? I'm scared I'm gonna be late, basically, because I am, of course, no parking. Reserved. Fuck me! <laughs> um, okay, 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 okay. Okay, there's gotta be a spot. There's no spots. I hate being late. I'm not even late. I still have 13 minutes. But A, I have no idea where it is once I get out of this parking garage. And B, I can't even find a spot. Whatever, if I'm late, I'm late. I need to like stop, you know, worrying about these things, to be honest. Reserved for electric vehicles, perfect. Oh my god. Please breathe. It's fine, I'll figure it out. Okay. It ended up being fine because everyone was kind of running late because the parking deck especially is so okay. I'm leaving. You want to go? Hold on. This, I'm trying to let this person get this spot. Um, okay. Ooh. This parking deck is so crazy because there is a cruise leaving out of this port. And this, is, I guess, is the parking deck that the people going on the cruise park in. So that's why it's so, so crazy. I was like, why? Uh, I thought I was being dramatic, but I, it turns out I wasn't, thank God. It ended up being great, made it on time-ish. Like, I was like right on time. I walked in at like 12.59, but there were two people behind me. So it ended up being fine. I was nervous to take clips in there because there were only, one, two, there were only five of us total. And so I just, I don't know, it would have been very obvious and I just got nervous. But it was a super cute studio. And they validate parking, so that's great. It works. Perfect. Love to see it. I don't think this works. Okay. How do I get home? Great question. It is such a beautiful day. I low key want to go lay out. Oh my gosh, I'm like exhausted now. But it was really, really good. And by basic, it meant kind of that you can come. I okay. Um, by basic, it meant like way slow down. Is it basically was exactly what I thought. Like they slowed everything down and really explained the motions and like the pieces of the machine and stuff. So that was honestly, I might go to another class like that. The place was great. Everyone was super, super nice. 10 out of 10, Body Rock in Sparkman Wharf. Amazing. The only downside was that it was so hard to find because the Google Maps, like I was already panicking about the parking situation. And then the Google Maps was telling me, it was, like, it was telling me to go through the port terminal. I was like, that can't be right. Like, why would I walk through there? It just didn't make sense. And so I ended up asking someone random on the street, literally, like, do you know where this place is? And he was like, oh, I don't know, but you probably need to go that way. And I was like, okay, fine. And so I ended up finding it, obviously. while my hair is processing i'm going to try to tint my eyelashes because i think i only have to leave this on for like 10 or 15 minutes anyway i'm just gonna be mixing my dye in with my developer except it's like a way smaller amount and i'm going to be applying it with a spoolie and then leaving it on for 10 to 15 minutes by the way i got this kit just off of amazon Con mi amor
Today is Monday again, so that's gonna wrap up my glow up week. Thank you so much for watching to the end if you did. Um, and to be honest, I am feeling a whole lot better. Um, I think mostly the nutrition differences and the working out made me feel a whole lot better. And of course, like a little bit of a mental uptick because I feel like my appearance is a little bit more together. Thank you so much once again for watching. If you like these type of videos and want me to like do them again in the future, just let me know. And please comment your favorite thing that I implemented in my glow up week. Thank you, I love you, bye.